Kenmore Arms near Oatlands is recognisable to many travelling the Midland Highway as the halfway point between Hobart and Launceston. Situated right next to the highway at St Peter's Pass, the historic property is on the market for the first time. So to have a building of that size and that significance that's always been in the same family, it's, it's quite something. The house was built by Daniel O'Connor, a discharged soldier who received 100 acres of land as a military claim. It was originally an inn for horse and cart travellers, but that only lasted for two years. By all accounts, Daniel O'Connor, the chap who built it, made so much money in his farming pursuits that he basically didn't need an inn anymore. Since then, it's been a family home, but it hasn't been lived in for decades. The owners are selling as the adjoining shearing shed no longer meets requirements. It was a long, long process of deciding to sell because it is, has so much history with the family. We've been here since the original land grant and, um, yeah, it's a massive decision. Countless memories about the property have been passed on by his grandfather. He always talks about the big groups of shearers that used to be here and the cookhouse and the big lunches they used to have when they were shearing and those sort of things. If the walls could talk, they'd tell their own story. The property is expected to fetch up to $1.4 million. For those keen on the restoration project, they're going to have to spend a considerable amount more. I put sort of four to 500000 but that's because I'm an experienced um, renovator, have been doing it for 30 years, so I understand what, what needs to be done. So far, there's been strong interest from around Tasmania and interstate. It's the first 24 hours, I had over 100 inquiries, and I'm still getting probably 30 a day. The area is known for its well-preserved colonial-era sandstone buildings. The current owners hope the piece of Tasmania's history is returned to its former glory. Damien McIntyre, ABC News, Oatlands.